Thank you everyone for joining us as we continue our indirect tax digest series. Uh, joining me today to talk about the Maryland gross receipts digital advertising tax is Tim Gorton. Tim is a principal in our Philadelphia practice and has been monitoring the uh, legislation since its inception. Tim, thank you very much for joining. Appreciate you taking the time. And it's interesting, right, with everything that's transpired post the enactment of the legislation, where do you think we stand? Yeah, thanks for having me, Brad. It's a good question. I, I think we're essentially back to square one on this tax. The Comptroller's Office has stated that it intends to enforce the tax and has encouraged taxpayers uh, to file any back taxes and file their returns, you know, particularly those that were awaiting the results of the, of the litigation. Uh, the first returns for this tax covered 2022 and were due on April 15th of 2023. And then the quarterly payments for 2023 are due in this year, with the first one being due on April 15th. Uh, the litigation itself remains pending at the federal level on appeal. The federal district court initially found that most of the claims were barred under federal law, and now is sitting at an appellate court at the federal level. Uh, in terms of the comptroller, it's a little unclear whether they're going to be issuing assessments or denying refund claims. Um, either of those things would trigger the administrative appeal process and could potentially lead to further litigation in Maryland State Court. Yeah, thanks for that, Tim. It seems as though there's you know, potentially a lack of clarity at this point, right? So what should taxpayers be doing? Yeah, I think first and foremost, taxpayers should be aware that uh, the administrative appeal process in Maryland is, is, is pretty quick. Uh, there's a 30-day clock for administrative appeals. And if you miss that deadline, uh, you would lose your appeal rights. So I, I talk to all my clients and tell them, please make sure you're watching your mail, making sure you're getting your mail, uh, because you're not going to have a lot of time to react to an assessment or denial of a refund claim. Um, taxpayers should also then just be considering you know, the position on a tax return from a filing perspective and also from a provision perspective. Is understanding their arguments, weighing how they feel about the tax um, and the merits of any challenges to the tax, and understanding that from a, from a litigation standpoint, litigation is certainly ongoing and probably won't be ending for some time. And I think, you know, kind of putting all that together, clients should be kind of thinking through the particular facts um, and seeing what's best for them. Well, thank you, Tim. I yeah, really appreciate your insights. I think there are a lot of questions that remain in Maryland and you know, other jurisdictions that may tr try to go this direction. And thank you to everyone, certainly for joining us for this segment of our Digest series and look forward to seeing you at the next one. Thank you.